Hell, hello, you're doing another one of these videos. And I just want to see, okay, well, we're actually looking at my progress. We're doing pretty good because neither the other three enemies that are currently trying to do their uh, rituals are not even there yet. And I'm almost at my second ritual already, which is pretty good. Do I even have my, I don't even have my ritual building here, or my ritual resource thing here. Probably upgrade that then. Um. So I need to deal with these guys, and I need to deal with these guys as well. These guys kind of annihilated Crocgar last time, though. So, hmm. I don't know. Um. Let's see what we can do. Oh, we can trade with Latlan. Uh, who else can we trade with? I just want to start trading with Protect whoever I can. Of Elfwan. Welcome, reptile. How can we be of a misguided? Hmm. How about trade? Hooray. Now we're gonna improve. How about an aggression pack now? Not. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fine. Uh, fortress is done. We're not trading with them. I can't Strategy trade with you. A route from their capital cannot be established. Oh, because it's Laqua. Oh, yeah. Our guys are at war with them. You can see these guys are at war. And I want to be friends with the lizard men before anything else. What about these guys? He's at war with them. Why, are you, why is Talakwa so aggressive and not being so friendly? Whatever. Um... Yeah, let's go deal with these guys first, I think. I just need to make sure... Wait, I'm no, I'm just sitting and waiting. Uh, yeah, I gotta sit here and wait for Temple of Skulls to be developed and have the freaking stuff. This, I need to get to the Pyramid of Itzel. So I'm literally just sitting here waiting for turns to occur right now. Let's reject it. Because I don't want Skaven Corruption. What is that? It's a yellow thingy. I don't know. Um, I can't build the upgrade yet. I need a T500. I'm not quite there. Alright, you know what, Crocker? I'm going to do one of those. Can get a treasure ship. And get some money from it. Explore the island. I am could probably auto-resolve this, but I'm going to not, because that's probably a bad idea. Alright. Uh, let's see what we got here. Okie dokie. We don't have any ranged guys, so what's our plan here? Right, what our plan is going to be here is we're going to have all of these guys kind of in the front. We're going to have these guys even more in the front. Like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our horned ones, because now we have them. We're gonna put them over here in these forests, so that our opponents cannot see them. And they shall slowly march their way through the forests to flank our enemies. Let's do this. Oh, some of these guys are hidden. Okay. So, I think I need to actually do these guys manually, one at a time, because if I don't do them one at a time, I'm gonna end up screwing up the, uh, hiddenness that they have. And then we, we only want them walking. We only want them walking. We don't need them running. Ooh, wait. Okay, where are you headed? Okay, you are going to want to... You guys are going to want to maybe not go that way. Uh, maybe more like that and like that. Yeah. But not running still. We want them to be... We want them to be walking. Because 
Because we want them to have their energy. Shoot. Okay, well, our hidden units have been revealed. So what we're going to do is we're just going to send these guys... Uh, send you guys charging in at that, and you guys charging in at that, and you guys are going to hit some of them hard. We want them to get close to us, though. We want the rest of them to get closer to us. Okay, um, absolutely none of our guys are fighting right now over here, so we need to just boom, 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 Crocker and Scarbetter, and you guys can deal with that, and you guys can all just kind of charge at various random things. Horned ones, you guys want to back up out of the fight here and get over there, so you guys have a thing you can do. You can maybe even get hidden again, you can just run away. Hide in the trees. Because we want them to run away. We don't want them to... To stay in melee for too long. Because they're going to be... They're going to take too much damage. These guys aren't very good at melee. They're good at charging in and doing a lot of damage. Uh, you can go and kill whatever that is. Okay, these guys are all spaced out very far, so we don't want to charge at them. But there isn't really much choice for us to charge at. Um, so just charge at those two things and see what happens. These guys are these guys are still good. They're active. Oh, these guys are winded now. My guys are currently winning their fights right now. Which is always good. Victor's in our grasp. I don't even know what the heck's going on over here. What are you even doing? Get in there and help. Do something. You guys all do something there. I don't really care. Just fight something. Um, these guys are pretty far away. So you guys can deal with them, I suppose. We're hurting these guys pretty hard. These guys are just kind of standing here. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna make them think that these guys are going in this direction, and then we're gonna split off. These guys are gonna split off. They're gonna charge at this instead. Oh no, these guys, the guys in the back, are gonna charge off and hit them instead. Just go into fast forward. Okay, we need um, more dudes fighting this. You guys aren't really fighting anything. You guys need to go and help fight over there. And then... Everything happened. The enemy lord is dead. And they're all guy all their guys are now disintegrating. Hooray. We win. I 
I win. Those horned ones are good, man. Those are really good. All right, decisive victory. Here we go. Kill and eat them. Kill 1,500 enemies. Nice. We have a blessed Carnosaur. And I got 8,000 money into my treasury. So we're now going to begin the upgrade to Corral Arena. And then Crocar's going to go back to where he was. We do have some money still. We're going to upgrade Teotiqua to the next level. Ah, uh, what else do we got? Nothing else. Oh, Golden Tower, Golden Tower. What can we do here? Upgrade their garrison. Now this thing is basically invincible because we have the garrison to old one trove. We're going to have the source garrison compared to the current skink lookouts. So we're going to have cold one spear riders, pterodon riders, source spears, shields, chameleon skinks, plus skink priest of beasts and a bastilodon of solar engine. From the gold, old one trove there. So you can see the garrison currently. Golden Tower. Holy. What the? What? What is that garrison? Wait a second. That adds what does that add? It adds cold one spear riders. Might as well. But where the hell am I getting the. Oh, because it's the default. You have the default garrison plus all the stuff that it adds. So the default garrison is. Scar Veteran, the Temple Guards, and the One Spear, One Shield uh, Warriors with Shields, I believe. Because that adds the... No, no, it has the two Warriors with the Shields. And the... Holy, that's going to be insane. This is going to be... We're going to only be adding one more unit, but holy crap. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 17 right now. We're going to have 18 units in just the garrison. <laughs> it's insane. Not to mention, I'm probably going to put this guy to live there for ri when we're doing rituals. He's just going to live there for the rest of his life now. For the rest of the, the game until I get to the last ritual. It's going to be damn near invincible when he's done. <laughs> okay, Krokgar. We can put him on Grimlock now. We're going to put him on Grimlock now. Because, freaking hell, yeah. So now he's got his mount of Grimlock. Ageless Carnosaur. Upon which the great Lizardman Lord has won his, all of his many victories. Holy crap, he's a good attacker, he's Ancient Spawn, the Exterminator, Brave, Executioner, Recruiter, Engineer, Task Manager, Strict, Vermin Flail, and Malice is an Underworld. Holy crap, that's a lot of stuff of traits. Not to mention the last defender. He's got all these followers and banners. Foolhardiness makes him unbreakable. Is there anything? No. Anything that's better here? Nope. Anything that's better here? No. So he's got like the best of the best. Krokgar is just... He's good. He's good. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get a blessed spawning of a blessed freaking Carnosaur. So now we have a freaking Carnosaur here. Just casually hanging out. And then soon enough we're gonna be able to recruit regular Carnosaurs. It's gonna be nice. And we're gonna wanna get it on G first because we wanna have an unstoppable force. Or, like, the, an immovable object here at the Golden Tower kind of thing. Basically, I just want to have, for all the different places that the Chaos guys will attack when I am doing the ritual, I want to have an unstoppable... Uh, an un... Frick, what is it? The... The... Um... Immovable object. I just want to have those. Okay, cool. We got Scar Veteran. Don't know who this one is. We're just going to make him better at fighting. We're going to ignore Lord Not Moved. We're going to ignore that. We're going to ignore that. And we're going to... Actually, how long do we have? We got three more turns. We can upgrade Serpent Coast. Sure, why not? And then, what else should we build? Probably the, the money thing. Yeah. Because I am going to need the income when I start upgrading my armies here. I'm pretty powerful. You can see a lot of the yellow is...
bigger than the red is on those things, which is nice. Temple City. Oh, you attack. Here, cool. You can build more stuff. Neat. Um, I'm not gonna develop you attack yet, because I want to save the money for the, for the final upgrade on Temple of Skulls, and I need money to get my guys to have their armies and stuff. So... It's very expensive. Oh no! Oh no! That's bad. Opposing rituals. Oh you no! Know, yeah, they've done. They've started their rituals before, but they failed, so they can't. They couldn't start it. And I still have the lizard men intervention stopping them. Uh. Ooh! Improve income. That's nice. Or reduce corruption. Let's do that, because then I can bring... I know, I know, I know, I know. Scrag hole and all these guys, but it's going down, which is good. We want that. Okay, wait, where's the skink priest? You can't move yet this turn. Oh, no, you can. All right. You're gonna, you're gonna replace the other guy. You're heavens. We had a skink priest of heavens before, right? Oh, um, skills. Yes. That's nice. Okay, um, you don't have, oh no, you do have a lord in it. You're a hero. Alright, well what we're gonna do... We're gonna do the right of awakening, so that way we can get another slam mage priest going. Because he's not gonna be—it's not too bad. To, oh yeah, um, of fire, recruit lord, slam mage priest of fire. He's gonna start at rank seven. That's nice. We're gonna have the guy that's currently in Krokgar not disband. How do I? Yeah, yeah, I can just tell you to leave. <laughs> And he's gonna go and join this guy, Kasseten. He's not gonna do much. He's just gonna kind of sit here. We're gonna give him his points here. Uh, Round marcher. Um, fireball. What does the other guy have? Oh, he's only rank two, so he only has fireball. He doesn't even have road marcher. Okay, um, we'll give him these two, that, and that. There we go. And then this Sar Scar veteran is going to go to him next turn, and then this priest is going to join Krokgar so we can get our priest guy back that we had before. It's just not going to be Ratok, or whatever his name was. And now we just sit here and wait. Lizard man intervention. They're doing some hurt. They're doing some hurt. And we want them to do some hurt. Can I actually send another intervention at them? I can. So wait, what the heck's going on right now? You just have a freaking guy. He's just, he's just walking around killing everything. Ah, but they're all unknown settlements, so he's just going to start wrecking everything. Alright, well, I need to save up to 10,000 then. These guys aren't a big deal, but the Skaven and Nagarond are. We don't want to deal with... We don't want to have them too far ahead of me. So... Even if... Like, next turn, I can... Afford the upgrade, which I can not. Uh, next turn, I am still gonna use the other thing. Um, basically, I'm just going for all the income stuff, which is along here, and then up here, along here, there's like upkeep for these guys for the Skinks and Saurus Infantry and Temple Guards. So I'm gonna use that. I'm not gonna bother with these ones. I mean, I'm gonna use these for these ones later because I have garrisons that use these guys but not not as important 
And then this is various other stuff. But basically, I just want to go for the money stuff right now. So I have the money to deal with whatever I need to deal with. Um, oh, yeah. Can you just garrison in here, please? So I don't get a notification. Thank you. I have to have this guy just sit here. Actually, if you encamp, I'll just ignore. It'll just ignore stuff. And you can just kind of sit there. Get better stuff if you're encamping. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, so we're doing our new technologies, end turn, because I don't want to be getting notifications of the Lord hasn't been moved, because I know they're not being moved. I'm busy trying to develop my freaking settlement so that they can. I want to, I'm, I can't, it's funny how the freaking lizard men intervention are just kind of walking around killing whatever. What, who the hell are you? Beast men war herds. You want me to pay you, but you'll join the war against Clan Septic. Sure, whatever. You'll just go and pester them for me. Cool. Age of Discovery. All major port owners have become known to each other via diplomacy. Nice. Which means anyone who has a port I now know exists. Which is nice. I don't really think it changed much. It changed absolutely nothing. Um, okay. We can do money development here, or we can freaking really hurt Nagarond. I think I like really hurting Nagarond more. <laughs> Nagarond is gonna... Oh, and scaling is dead. Cool. They were something that didn't trade or whatever. Lizardmen Intervention are just annihilating everything. <laughs> their probably first move, was, their first turn was probably just knocking out Nagarond. Just see. Okay, so they need over here. They need Harkatal, Caldra, and we have a guy who's a freaking red-crested skink chief, and he's on a freaking. Is that a horned one? That's a horned one. And holy crap, his army is just yeah. That's gonna freaking wipe the floor with the enemies. And then there's our other guy over here. He's just kind of walking around, <laughs> killing everything. He's killing the Skaven, too. He's stopping the Skaven from doing their stuff. Which is nice. I don't need to send another intervention after them. Which means I can actually do stuff. Oh, unassigned skill points. Nice. Kukkar. Um... What do we need? Uh, beastmen. We already got chaos. We want a beastman because beastman might be coming when I have my rituals, and I want to have him be able to fend against those. Ah, oh, someone and someone. Who the heck are Nagarith? I don't know, but whoever it is, I like them for being at war. What do you want? Sure. Alright, of awakening has happened. Nice. Win three battles. I don't care. Rank gained. Cool. Um so yeah, someone. Let's see if we can find them here. It appears that I cannot. Um, but someone hates Hag Grafe and Nagarond, and now is at war with them. And I like that. I like that. That's that's something I like seeing. Um, just upgrade him in general. Serpent Coast, I can build stuff in. I'm gonna build the Croxagore Labor District, because I'll still be able to have my 10,000 that I'll need for my next... Intervention for next turn. Because I'm going to just send a bunch of interventions their way and then never have to worry about them again. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, never mind. I guess my faction, my Lizardman Intervention faction will just be destroyed. Yay, I like Zlatlan being at War with Fortress of Dawn. I don't like the Fortress of Dawn either. 
That's a good thing. Okay, Twisted Glade is lost. Okay, we need to send another intervention. I can't send another intervention at him. Let's send an intervention at them, then. So he's going to successfully... Nagron's going to successfully pro do his thing, which kind of sucks. How the hell did he freaking lose that, though? I don't know. Or care. But we now have a guy here. I don't know why I still have vision there, but I do. Um, but this guy is probably going to kill a lot of people. Hopefully. Um, and we are slowly making progress towards being able to do my first ritual. Because I want to just be able to have an army. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I send the strongest thing they have, and they still fail. Oh, crap. Well... There goes Temple Avenue of Gold. Ah, oh, come on, Hagrafe. I hate you. Prepare to die. In, like... Probably about ten more turns. Can you wait ten more turns without attacking? Okay, well, I don't think I can... I don't think I can do anything with the Lizardman intervention anymore. Because it doesn't work anymore. Um, I really don't know what I should build there. I'm just going to leave it. End of my turn, and we're going to just have to hope that um, I can win. Oh my god, he's just going to go around and kill everything, isn't he? And there's nothing I can do to stop it. There goes exotic animals and the golden thing, golden idols. He's just going to start taking everything over. Oh, man. I could upgrade the port, actually. I need to do these things because I'm losing a lot of my income. Because I'm losing a lot of the... I'm losing a lot of my income from the freaking lack of trade resources. This is why I hate Hagrafe existing. I hate Hagrafe's existence because they just freaking ruin my... Fun. They ruin my income, they ruin everything. These guys just... Oh, thank goodness. Peace negotiated between Talakwa and Bowman of Orion. This is good. Trait gained, architect. Nice. Now we're getting more income. By a little bit. The savage blow. Ooh. Well, man, I wish I could actually... Alright, frick it. We've got... No, I don't think I'd be able to win that without reinforcements. Heck, I don't even think I'll be able to win it without reinforcements when I attack. I'm gonna go and attack him with full armies of my my setup here with the, the horned ones, etc. We're gonna just attack them. Come in with reinfor the two of them. Knock that out, knock that out. Hopefully they can take over Torser Pindar. That way I don't have to go to war with Fortress of Dawn yet. Alright, hopefully this doesn't go poorly. So let me besiege Teotiqua. That's... where? That's there! I'm not going to spend money on something that doesn't work. Doesn't do anything for me. Alright, next technology. Upkeep reduced. Now reduce our upkeep here. We're going to make whoever he is better at fighting. We're going to shut that up. Okay. I'm a little bit annoyed with this guy trying to attack me. What's the garrison like? Pretty darn good? Alright. You're now out of that stance, and... Okay, wait, if you're... Okay, 
We need to get you both over there. Serpent Coast, we can upgrade that. We're gonna might as well. Frick it. Why not? He's stealing all my money! Hello! Tlaqua, please like me. Defensive Alliance, yes! Thank you! I want to be friends with you! Uh oh. Run away! Frick! Okay. Well. All right, well. This is a slight issue. We don't have as strong of an army as them. But we have the smarts of a regular human being. So I think we're good. Alrighty. <sighs> All right. Sadly, his only spell right now is Harmonic Convergence, which is a slight issue, but whatever. Let's uh, get everyone back here, get all of our spearmen up in the front. Get these guys... Uh, frick, where does... Th okay, that doesn't last very far. Okay, we're gonna have these guys go over here. Because we can have them just kind of start over here and be ready for the flank. So we want our Carnosaur and... Krokgar to be in the front. And we'll want to have this guy in the back. So, now hopefully the plan is to just kind of sit here, use our guys to go around and flank through the forests a little. Like, kind of just be sitting here, and then go over this way, where there's not many trees, and then kind of flank around, hit them while they're going up the hill, and then let our guys here kind of do the fighting. Is what I hope. Because they're going to start just kind of going. The heck? Whip infantry. Hold on. Um, let's see this. Oh, they do have whips. Huh. That's new. That's something I haven't seen yet. And they have freaking shield missile infantry. More whip infantry. Okay. So, are the whip infantry just like slightly longer range melee infantry or something? I don't know. Oh, they got their guys trying to go for a little... Oh, frick. Okay, well, that's an issue. They have artillery. I didn't know they had artillery. And they're fairly accurate as well, because they're almost on a level field. That's not good. Uh-oh. Brace! You guys have terrible bracing skills. None of you have died yet, though. That's nice. Oh. What are these guys doing over here? They're cavalry. That are trying to... Flank, I suppose? Okay, we need to do... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to engage them in direct combat. Now, this may sound like a terrible idea, and it probably is. But, I just noticed the Sisters of Slaughter are very high risk, or high threat to fight with my normal guys. So that's not good. So those are just riders. Alright, so what I'm planning on doing, right... Is I'm planning on just charging forward. Right. I plan on just charging forward and letting all my guys fight. With this guy being able to cast Harmonic Convergence on everyone. All of these guys are just going to charge forward and at a specific target. While these guys are going to go and flank their flank. And outflank the flank. And then once I outflank their flank... All of the fighting should be kind of centralized this way. Because they have more units than me, they're going to be surrounding me like this, right? Then I can have my cavalry come on in, hit their artillery, which will also be unintentionally hitting their guys. So that'll be a little bit of a bonus for us. 
we can get their artillery, so they'll stop hitting everything. Um, like, they'll stop hitting me, and they'll stop hitting the enemies, which will be a disadvantage for the both of us. Because then, my guys can then come in from behind, smash into their rear, and just send guys flying. And which our guys in the front lines can actually just pick off. Is the plan, I hope. Damn, I'm pretty bad at uh, the the freaking space manage storage space management. Cause yeah, well whatever. But yeah, our, I I think this is gonna go well, probably. Let's see how it goes. Oh, they're already shooting their freaking small arms fire at us. It's fine. Hidden units are revealed. That's the that's the point. Cause they can't do anything about it. In melee, unit losing. Hmm. Yeah, maybe because these guys aren't actually made for melee. And my guys are. Wow, what the hell was that? Uh-oh. Why did I, How did I just select everyone? I don't know. Run away. You guys need to come back in and charge in later. Turn around and just hit them hard again. Because we want to break them. We want to make them rout. This isn't going too well for me, because this guy is really low on um, troops here. Oh, and they've got a freaking ability that's increasing the morale here. Alright. Go attack the Reaper Bolt floor throwers, because you've done heavy damage to these guys. We don't have to worry about them anymore. We're just winning. What the heck are these guys doing? Oh, these guys are cavalry, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're running around and behind us. Alright. Uh, harmonic Convergence on that guy in particular and do that on them and do this on yourself and use that on yourself and then whenever you can use harmonic convergence on Krokar where the hell is Krokar? Oh he's just over here he's just fighting stuff with the Carnosaur, him and the Carnosaur are just kinda doing some damage no 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 don't go that way oh god damn it they're all just preoccupied the heck? How are you guys so hurt? Okay, holy crap. What the heck are these guys? How strong are these guys? Sisters of Slaughter. What are they even doing? My guys are like twice their height. What the hell? Okay, well, we're winning over here. Okay, my guys are now just in a melee against them, but this... Oh, no, they're, they're, they're thinking, but... They got those things, so if you guys would just not be out of control, I can get you to run away. Because you're down to one thing now. You're down to one guy now. You're down to one guy now. You're down to one guy now. Why are you being... Okay, you're dumb. Stupid. He was stupid when he was out of control. Oh, and now you're out of control as well. Alright, whatever. You shattered them, so you don't need to bother with them anymore. Whatever was there is dead now, so go and focus on that. You got guys over there out of control. You're about to die. So run away. Have Krokgar come save you. Where the hell's my Connoisseur? Connoisseur, go save them. Go save him as well. Run away, dude! Don't die. Just, just run away. Okay, that's clearly not working very well. Kill that one in particular. 
How am I losing so ba so hard? Oh, because this that thing. Okay, don't focus on that. Don't focus on that. Go focus on them. You guys go focus on them as well. Hit them. We need to get rid of those guys because those guys are annoying. Get those guys to hopefully run away. We've shattered that Dark Riders. Although it's only got one guy left. Um, he's rallying, which means he now can cast Harmonic Convergence on him. Carnosaur. And you can use that on yourself, and you can use that on the Carnosaur as well. So now we're stronger in f the battle. I don't know, even know what you guys are doing. Stop fighting that now. Go back up behind them. Ah, frick me. What? The freaking... What the hell happened to these guys? I swear I killed them all. Okay, well, that one's dead. That one's not. That one's not. And that's... Do you... The freaking horned ones were did a terrible job. I'm just losing units left and right now. Where's Crocker? He's just in the middle of it. You need to get his aura, his leadership aura over here so that everyone's more inspired to fight. Okay, you guys are wavering. That's good. Okay. A bunch of my guys. Okay, everyone just left. Everyone's fleeing now. Great. Hooray, I hurt them very badly. That's good. That's a good thing, I suppose. I'm gonna probably end this after here. Okay, wait, what did I do? Holy crap! A thousand losses out of... Yeah, that's actually really good. I mean, I only have 66 guys left, but... That's a lot... of damage done. Alright, Valiant Defeat. I think we did pretty okay. Oh wait, no, he's dead. I forgot, yeah, Krokar's dead, because I retreated. Damn it! Not again! Ugh. Shut up! If I can... Why is it going up now? It's probably because the freaking enemy is taking over top places. Oh, and he completed a thing. Okay. Well, I'm not all too happy with what you just did there, buddy. Well, um, I successfully fended him from Teotequa, which is nice. But, Krakar's now wounded, and this guy's dead, so... Oof. Um... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna end this here. Uh... I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do from here. What do you want? Military access. Sure, why not? You're not even coming near me, but whatever. Or is he actually going on to my territory? Is he gonna go and freaking kill Hagrave for me? Please do. Please go and annihilate Hagrave for me, because he's really freaking annoying. Uh, Okie dokie, see you in the next video, goodbye!